these three sets of people, your success will shock the world. In this season, help these three sets of people. What will happen next will shock you. In today's video, I wish to share with you another set of people that you definitely need to help in this season if you want to go far, if you want to break through, if you want God to do everything you ever wish for. Have you prayed? Have you fasted? Done spiritual work? Do everything you know possible to do, but you have not actually gotten your breakthrough. Why not reach a hand or help to these people and you will certainly be shocked at what happened next so welcome back to Jenny action tv in this channel we discuss three important variables which actually have safety and, and spirituality this channel we pray strategy prayer we apply all the basic principles and spiritual principles of life especially as pertains to christians morality in general and uh, by god's grace we believe in prayers and also because bible said faith with your work is there we back it up with spiritual work in order to get everything we need so if this is the very first time you're landing in this channel you are highly welcome please kindly hit the red subscribe button and be part of the family and then god will surely bless you for my returning subscribers i love you so much thank you for always stopping by so my returning subscribers and my new timers always share the video give thumbs up and comment on these videos god will certainly bless you so with your western time let's dive right in now another set of people you must help in this season are sick people in my last video i was able to read matthew 25 verse 35 to 40. you notice that in that particular place the bible made mention of that jesus was telling some people that that when he was sick you visited when he was naked, you clothed, he was in prison, that you visited him. And that as so long as you have done it to the least of these brethren, that is him that you have done it for. So, what does this imply? Whenever you extend hand of fellowship and help to sick people, one way or the other, any good thing you are doing to them, you are doing it for God. Especially somebody you know that this person is a good person, this person is a child of God, this person is somebody to be desired because of his good nature and suddenly something before this person, the person is sick, reach out, out and help such people. There is one thing, help is not all about money. There are people that have all the money in the world, yet they have need of divine healing. They have tried all possible a kind of options to get healed no way but you have a secret that can help them for example what is doing to them might be spiritual just by sending a link of a video here that from this channel that i have to get rid of spiritual arrows poisons invocation and so on and so forth and that person uses it it's a big help you have saved a life and god will never allow you to die on un untimely he will not allow your finances to die he will not allow anything bad to happen to you because the gratitude and the happiness of that person must surely rub on you that is number one number two people you must help in this season is men of god especially those one that are missionary in the village suffering in penury god is looking unto you to be extension of help to them in this season that we know especially in nigeria african countries generally there is a kind of hardship no matter how hard things are for you reach out to them no matter how small especially money rice give it to them my dear you will attract supernatural grace that will rub on you and give you whatever you want because when you reach out to them you can request for a particular prayer point and maybe you are believing god to travel abroad but your papers are not coming forth things seems to be locked down a lot of things are not working get them to pray for you you are believing god to get married you have done all sorts of spiritual work you have a kind of a pray all sorts of prayer do fasting do love manifestation and be frustrated reach out to that man i'm not talking of those that are in affluence already some men of god that are in the timid village that are suffering 
one way or the other, reach out of help to them. They will sincerely, sincerely pray for you from their heart. And you will see that situation change overnight. The last but not the least is your siblings, your brothers and sister, who you know that they have grateful heart, they are humble enough, and one way or the other, they are not careless people, wasters of money, and one way or the other, they are not measuring up as you are measuring. God may have raised you in your family just because of them. In this season, do not neglect them. Probably you are able to buy beautiful clothes for your children, take care of your own children. But lo and behold, your sister's children is unclothed, your brother's children is unclothed because they don't have serious means of livelihood. Remember to clothe them in this season. What you are doing is, you know, for somebody that is receiving, the house hand is always down. Why you that is giving, your hand is always up. What you are doing is that you are creating more ways for you to continue to remain on top and that they will not overtake you no matter what they, how they try in terms of riches and wealth, in terms of breakthrough, in terms of success. Especially those ones that when you give them, they sincerely appreciate you. Not those ones that you give, they start murmuring, they feel that what you give them is small, they don't even care. But is it those who thank you so much, I am grateful. May God bless you, may God prosper you more, may you get more money. I am not even expecting this and this is it, and you suddenly to remember me, oh my God will bless you. Those ones, hey... Don't fail to help them in this season. Their ways alone, you carry a, a form of bloodline. Your, their ways alone will go a long way to detach a, every form of negativity, poverty, bad luck out of your life. And when you are giving them and you have specific problem, why not say, sister, please don't forget to help me in prayers concerning my marriage. You see how my marriage is up and down. I don't understand my husband anymore. Maybe you're having crisis in your marriage. Brother, don't forget to pray for me. My business is somehow I would have done better, but it's because of how things are now. And you will notice that immediately you say that they will say some positive words. Like, oh, God will do it for you. God will fix it. God, that words alone at that time, because words are energy, is powerful. That is what God used to bring out everything we see existing in the world today. So that word they release with that excitement. If you understand the law of manifestation, you will notice that one of the things that help us to manifest fast is when we are in an excitable mood. When we are in good mood. Now, that way they spoke out, out of excitement, we catapult you from that level you're operating to another level. Believe me, because there is a positive word bank where that word will be stored, induces you see it manifesting. And you will notice that from time to time, you will always be above those people. So go out in this season and reach out to these people, both in the part one of this video, four people I mentioned, and believe God you will see tremendous help. Don't always neglect asking for prayer. Nobody is perfect or island of himself. Even Jesus at a time asked for prayer. He called the disciples and said, why can't you wash with me for just an hour? That was like, especially when he was about to be crucified. Why can't you pray with me? Why can't you help me in prayers? Don't Always neglect asking for prayer. That is a kind of humble heart too. And when God sees that humility, he will surely elevate you. So, go and try this in this season. I'm waiting for your testimony in the comment section because, sure, God is always interested in give us. Give us. Never lack. So, please, if you have not subscribed to this channel, subscribe and be part of the family. Give thumbs up to this video and then comment on this video share it to everyone i'm sure i'll be helping a lot of people to do so may god bless you so with this i say enjoy your day